Hi guys and welcome to my channel She Talk Systems. I am so excited to have you here. If this is your first time coming across my videos then welcome and I hope you enjoy it. Please hit a like if you do and drop a comment below. You can also subscribe. I roll out videos every single week. My channel is literally designed to help coaches and creative consultants to systemize their business so that they have time to focus on their zone of genius. If this is you, you're struggling, you're overwhelmed and you need more um, solutions to run your business and set your business up in the right way, I can tell you you're in the right place. So I am so excited to have you guys here today. So today's topic, we are talking about how to simplify your client onboarding process. And we're gonna do this specifically using Dubsado. So if you are trying to simplify and streamline your client onboarding in your business, and you definitely need more guidance in how you can automate it, then Dubsado is an amazing online business management tool. I will drop a link below it is an affiliate link. However, you can still use Dubsado for free until you're ready to sign up and you can discover exactly how it can support you in your business. So client onboarding is definitely a key factor for any online um, business owner, consultants, coaches, VAs, OBMs, it doesn't matter what type of service you provide. If you work with clients in some capacity, no doubt you will be onboarding them into your business. So what is onboarding? What does that actually look like first and foremost? Client onboarding is literally bringing your new client into your business. So it's how you um, take them, once they've said yes, they want to work with you, it's now all the steps following that action. It's making sure they pay, sign their agreement and ensuring that they have clear expectations of the project or the work that's been agreed between you and them and literally giving your clients a warm welcome into your business. This is where you can really start to delight your clients, okay? Especially as an online business owner, we don't get to have that real personal touch point with our clients. So being able to create a process that is both seamless, simple for our clients, they're not jumping through hoops, but also serves them and just completely gets them fired up to working with us is so crucial for them wanting to rave about you to their friends and to create that amazing um, client to consultant experience. So that's why it is so crucial for you to understand exactly what you need and how you're going to lead your clients through that onboarding process and um, before you start working with them. So step one in your client onboarding process, you definitely want to have in place first some key templates. Now I can take this right back to basics and if you haven't seen my video on how to create a system strategy, check that out because I break down exactly how you can map out your process from start to finish. And when I talk about mapping out a process, I'm basically saying how to lay out the action steps that your client will take one step by step, one by one. So your client onboarding is a process and you want to know exactly what type of information you're going to need from your client, what steps they need to take in order to confirm they are a officially a client with you officially and um, how you're going to move forward in working with them, what that process looks like. It's pretty much a portion of your client journey. I highly recommend is for you to actually piece together some templates. So what type of templates are we talking about? So we're looking at your emails, the emails that you will want to send out to your clients. So you may have a specific welcome email that you'd like to send out, which may include your welcome pack, some directions or explanations on what they can expect during the process. And if there's any actions that your client needs to take, um, then you can map those out in the email as well. And then you would look at what type of forms do you need to send out? Do you need to have an intake process or an intake form from your clients? Do you need to gather any information from your client that is going to make it easier for you to work with them. If that is the case, then I definitely recommend creating a form first that you can have ready to send out to your clients. It has all of the deeper questions. So you may not have gone so deep in extracting certain information from your client, but now that they are going to be working with you, you can now ask those deeper questions about their business, about them, their lives, get to know them much, much better. 
So the next thing you want to think about is your contracts. So we, I highly recommend that you have all of your clients sign a an agreement with you if they are going to be working with you ensure that they sign a client contract this makes it easier for you and your clients to both know where you stand when you're working with each other so have your wording i definitely recommend paying for your contracts um, and there are some online contract shops that you can use to purchase your contracts and i will link some resources below in case you need some guidance or you're looking for a solid client agreement that you can incorporate in your business the next thing that I would recommend is ensuring you have your payment set up. You know how you're going to get paid. You know how you are going to invoice your client on a month to month basis. Are you going to set, send out recurring invoices or will you be doing auto payments? This is also a factor to put into your contracts. Let your clients know how often they will be billed, how they will be billed. Um, is it going to be an auto subscription? They have the right to opt in or out of that. And if you are are going to be sending invoices do you have any late payment structures and um, so late payment fees or penalties if they do not pay their bills on time so make sure you figure all of that out first and that can also be factored into your contract and you can include it into your invoicing as well so next step in the client onboarding process of how you can, how Dubsado actually helps you is that you can build all of these templates inside of Dubsado first. So the best thing that I absolutely love about Dubsado is that you can create what they call canned emails, which are your email templates. Effectively, that's what they are. And so you can use these email templates over and over again. So no more inventing the wheel, no more having to um, write out the same emails over and over again and figure out what you said to your last client who you signed on one email and it can do the same job for you and save you so much time the next thing that i love about dubsado are the forms so you are able to actually build in all of your key client forms inside of dubsado so we look at your contract you can create your contract in dubsado and you can also collect e-signatures as well which means that your client and you can sign on the dotted line and you can finalize your working agreement together and it's all stored inside of Dubsado. You don't have to worry about finding paperwork or going through the inbox to figure out where things are. The next is that you can create amazing client questionnaires. And I love that you can actually have questionnaires ready to send out. And again, these are templates that you can use in your business. And what these questionnaires do is it allows you to gather all the information that you need. So you can create lead capture forms or inquiry forms, but the questionnaires are slightly different in Dubsado because they can be sent through workflows or apply directly to your client project. And they are specific to your clients. The next thing about the questionnaires is that if you do have a lengthy intake questionnaire, your client can fill that in and save that form as they go. So there's no pressure for them whatsoever to have to fill it all out or sit there for an hour figuring things out. Um, and you can also add in links to either a Google Drive, to the client portal. You can add in, um, there is a way to embed a scheduler into your questionnaire. You can also just add in a file upload feature. So it's so functional for you to gather as much intel from your clients as possible. This is really going to help you as you start working together. So the next way that Dubsado simplifies the client onboarding process is by means of another form. And I left this out on purpose when talking about the templates because this form in itself is a process. So the proposal forms are an amazing feature. I actually love using these in my business. Using the proposals is a great way to just affirm to my client the type of service they are about to sign on for. So if you haven't used proposals before, then definitely check them out. This is a great way to showcase your um, program or your service. You can lay out all of the details of what your client can expect. You can let them know in advance. So before they sign the contract, just what they can expect. So letting them know quick things um, such as uh, you will be billed every 30 days or 
this contract is for three months. So you can just let them know what they are actually signing up for before they complete the proposal. Another great thing about the proposals in Dubsado is you can add in your packages. So you can actually build out your packages directly on the form. But so to speak, your client can actually build out their own quotation. So you're not having to do all of that work yourself. You can add in all of your packages. If you have add-on features, you can add those in as well. And your client can see exactly how much they are going to pay for your service. The next thing that I love about the proposals is that you can add in payment schedules. So you can um, actually create payment schedules in Dubsado and you can apply this to your client proposal. So if you take deposit payments or if you split your services into equal payments, then you can add this into your proposal. And it, what it will do is actually um, generate that inside of the invoice. So your client will be able to see exactly what they have to pay at the time of signing on with you. And that leads me really nicely into the next features because the proposal really does allow you to simplify the onboarding in three steps. You have the proposal form, then you can attach your contract and then you can attach your invoice as well. So what it really means is that once your client has completed their proposal, so they've gone through, they've read everything that you offer, they have selected their package, they are ready to go, you can have your contract attached to the proposal. So when they complete the form, the next page will take them straight to the client agreement and they'll be able to read through and that agreement will be auto generated. So if you use smart links, if you fill out, um, if you attach smart links into your contract agreement or you have your payment schedule attached, it will generate all of that information automatically for you so you don't have to control that yourself so your client can go through the contract and they can actually sign straight away and as they go through the proposal as they go through the contract you as the business owner will receive an email to let you know this person has completed their proposal this person has completed their contract and when they complete their contract they will be taken to the invoice page and they will be able to pay for your service either in full or they can make part payment based on the payment schedule that you attach to that proposal. This guys is just an amazing way for you to ensure that everything is done, your client has paid, signed and they are working with you officially. Now Dubsado will send an automatic email out once a contract is signed and this covers both you and your client and so this is great for you to just know that you are covered, your client will have access to the contracts but you also have a notification to say the contract is signed. Dubsado does store all of the information within the client project and it applies the client forms to their portal. So this is another feature inside of Dubsado and I will do a video on the client portal and how that works inside of your business as a service provider and how you can use that with your clients. So I'll do that in another video, you guys. So the next way that Dubsado can support you with your client onboarding and make it super, super simple is through their automated workflow features. If you are not using any automation in your onboarding process, then I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be an absolute game changer for your business going forward. I cannot live without my workflows, you guys. So first of all, what is a workflow? Basically, if you have mapped out your process step by step, in Dubsado, you are pretty much doing the same thing. Your workflow is a step by step action that will take your client through various actions based on previous things that have taken place or based on specific triggers. For example, I like to send out a proposal to my clients and I have this inside of a workflow. I will send a proposal out to my clients and as soon as a payment has been made, then I will send an email out to my client, which is a canned email, an email template. I'll send that out and I will officially welcome them to the family. Welcome my client to working with me. So this is great because to my client, they're like, 
they get a quick response straight away there's no waiting around they're not guessing on what's happening next my email is going to tell them exactly what to expect in working with me and so i don't have to be at my laptop i don't have to be logging on when they're going through the forms i can just literally let them sign up with my services and my workflows will do the rest for me and so you can do various actions through the workflows. You can do internal actions. And when I say internal, these are actions you can manage within Dubsado. So for example, I can activate the client portal. I am able to change the project status so I can actually change the status that my client is using or sits within, within Dubsado. And so there's different things that you can do. You're also able to do, so for example, you're able to do other actions such as send an invoice out or resend a form if they haven't completed a certain form. You can send your intake forms out. You can send a scheduler out for your client to book a kickoff call with you. So there are lots of different ways that you can onboard your clients through the workflows and you essentially don't have to be there. You can be very, very hands off in this whole process. So by implementing the workflows, this is a great way to one, simplify your client onboarding and two, you're not actually having to be there in person to guide them through. You've already created the templates, you've created the emails, the communication, you've set all these templates up first and you're, all your client has to do is follow the directions given. Now, there may be times where your clients will reach out to you outside of the process and that's absolutely fine. It happens. We're still humans, so let's not just rely 100% on the automations. You know, respond to your clients if they reach out to you in a different way or they have have other questions make sure you take care of your clients um but definitely refine your client onboarding with these tips if this was really helpful please make sure that you drop a comment or hit the like button let me know hit subscribe so that you get notifications when i release new videos on my channel and you'll be able to be the first to know if you love what you're hearing make sure to join the she talk systems facebook groups we do weekly live trainings and it's a great community you are warmly invited to come and join us so thank you so much for what and I'll see you guys next time.